Welcome to Super Starcraft Bros. Force of Victory. I'm Jay. And I'm Iron Sparks. And we finally have episode 8 of Iron Sparks' Forges to Victory. He's been playing a little bit more this summer. He's been streaming it. Uh, this game was streamed on Iron Sparks' Twitch channel. Indeed. Which is what? Just twitch.com uh, slash Iron Sparks? Twitch.tv Twitch slash dot, I'm sorry. SSB underscore Iron Sparks. Put that down in the description. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not even going to remember that. All right, guys, so let's get into it. Uh, you know Iron Sparks, he is a Protoss player. As uh, you can so tell. So this is not him. So let's introduce his opponent for this game. Well, in our top right corner of Derelict Watcher, we have our Red Terran, Rufus, from BSU. All right. And on the bottom left, we have me. You. From SSB. From the Super StarCraft Bros. Indeed. All right, so we're going to bring up a couple of overlays. We are using the new stream overlay. Or not. Sorry. I see how it is. It's the new stream overlay that I, I, was, I was just so in the habit of changing the thing. Yeah. So. Uh -huh, yeah. All right. So let's see. Uh, it does cut off a little bit of the nameplate at the top, but uh, I know, it's me. Yeah. It, it, his name is in big golden, Protoss blue. So. Yeah. All right. So let's see. Walk us through this game, Iron Sparks. Well, it's a PVT. All right. I'm getting my gateway. Getting my pylon. Getting a quick scout. Probe sneaks in there, sees that the barracks is getting built. You decide to go for the SEV. You know, I tried really hard. But you couldn't because he was sitting in the I building. I really, really tried. Yeah. Uh, you did drag down another SEV who's going to go down here to probably try to uh, drill you in the butt. You know, it's never a good situation. Taste him in the face. Yeah, that's, 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 what, that's what you should do, kids. Yeah, if that ever happens to you, a taser to the face. Yep. All right, uh, getting one gas down, get my secondary pod, do my normal build, you know, nine... Pylon, 12, gate, 15, gas, 15, pylon. Okay. And were you thinking uh, three gate robo, four gate? You'll have to wait and find out. Jerk. All right. So Probe is chasing this SCV back to the base, but it's all right for Rufus because it's also going to allow him to get a bit of scouting information in mm -hmm. as well. I do head go get my cyber core on the way. Uh, back at Rufus's base, we have a uh, little bit, little bit of macro up. He's got his first marine out. It looks like he might be thinking of expanding. He does have the 400 minerals, and there's the command center. Mm -hmm. um, this SV finally does defeat my probe. That sucks. That su your probe sucks. I know. Uh, Zealot is about to get out. This SCP is going to move through the mineral line to try and get a bit of scouting information. But you know, there's not really much to see. Nah. It's it's pretty standard. Yeah. Uh, first zealot comes out, try and slice and dice his SCV. Almost had a chance there, but it does look like that zealot does chase him away, and zealot's gonna perch itself on top of that ramp to fend. Yeah, and I waited for the SCV to leave to, before I dropped down my second gas, so he didn't exactly know what I was doing. Now, uh, most people are gonna be wondering, what level are you? Silver. Silver. You suck. I know. <laughs> All right. So I do have warp gate on the way, crowding that out, getting this saturated. Um, only because I'm still debating exactly what I want to go for right now. Do I want to go three gate robo? Um, I haven't had a lot of luck with the Oracle Rest lately, so I'm I'm kind of iffy on going that any game. Um, so you go Twilight Council? Why? Let's see. Were you thinking Blink Stalkers? Uh, um, DTs? You'll see. All right, you don't remember, do you? No, I know what I did. I'm, <laughs> I'm just trying to remember the reasoning why I did it. All right, well, Command Center finishes for Rufus. He's going bio-intensive because he has the two racks. Just finishing up now. He's got uh, two Marines stationed outside his base. Orbital Command's morphing in at the natural and back at Iron Sparks base. The Twilight Council is just finishing. Warp Gate is about 80% finished, and we have a Stalker out on the map. Mm -hmm. uh, why not expand so far? Because I'm not sure exactly what my opponent's doing. Like, right now I am gearing up to do a blink type of thing, because I've done that before, you know. Especially with this map, you'd be able to get an observer blinking through the side. Uh-huh. Um, but right now I'm I'm just going to be ready in case he's going to attack me or something. Uh-huh. Um, All right, well, you do have the pylon down here to start prepping for an expansion, maybe. But right now I'm kind of thinking, do I really want to go blink? It is so, kind of an investment you could use in other stuff. So uh, now I'm just going to check out what he's doing. Factory's on the way for Rufus. Uh, probably just a, just a lily pad to leapfrog over to Medvax because he is going bio-intensive. Mothership Core is coming out for Iron Sparks now. And uh, Stalker is easily going to get mowed down by uh, Marines. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a lot of Marines, I see the expansion. But you sacrifice the Stalker. So you go DTs. Yeah. 
All right, even with the overload command down. Yeah, cause you know what? He's not. He's he he. He's taking the offensive to get a, a lot of economy. Uh huh. So I mean, even though there are quite a few marines, there's probably not going to be much else. And if I and since you know, that I did, is actually surprising that we don't have a lot more marauders on the map. Yeah. I did see the meals drop, so I know he's not going to be saving that much energy for, scan. So you know, why not try? All right. So t uh, the dark shrine is about halfway done now. We do have the expansion going up for iron sparks. He's got a couple pylons in the front to throw down some buildings. And I may try to put it back here because you know sometimes you get the scan yeah, in your you base. Yeah, you there. get the scan out here, but it doesn't always see back here. All right. So let's see. Starport is on the way for Rufus. He's going to be able to get that medvac support for his bio. Uh, honestly, for Rufus, I really want to see more Marauders, not just mass Marines with medvac. The Marines too good. Got you. Got to have the Marauders against Protoss. I like how you left that Zealot out there to uh, kind of just let you know if anything goes down the ramp. Yeah. And uh, let's see, your Dark Shrine is now done. Three Dark Templar on the way. No proxy pylon. No, I didn't. Didn't, didn't do that. All right, so the three DTs are moving out. Your opponent, Rufus, is currently supply blocked, but he is getting one supply depot finished up. Mm -hmm. Medvac's on the way. He's going for double engineering bay right now. He's going to start, he's going to start working on the upgrades about the nine minute mark, nine and a half minute mark. Mm -hmm. And you got your robo, robo down. Yep. So uh, what was your thoughts? Were you going to go natural or are you going to go main? I'm going to try to get into the main. Hope he doesn't have detection right here. And he does I not. I very nearly attacked that marine by accident. Yeah. So it does not appear that he has spotted you because he did not move any of the marines. You're just going to plop your DTs down in the mineral line. Now I'm going to put two up here, one in down here. All right. Here they go. Slice and dice time. If we bring you know, up that... He uh, did move out. Let's bring that counter up to see how many uh, units you do kill. You got up to 13, 15 workers now, 17. DTs moving. Trying to get out of scan range? I uh, don't know. They just kind of move by themselves. All right. Scan does reveal one DT who kills a couple SCVs before he's mowed down by the units, and let's see Actually, where... Actually, both of them did die up in here, I Ooh. think. But, you know, this one's still here. 28, 29, 30 SCV kills. Do I hear 32? Holy crap, that was a great 3 DT move. <laughs> Whoa! Um, it looks like Rufus is going straight up, uh, straight up base race, and oh god, he should have known. Sh should have known what? I don't know. Uh, back at your base, no saturation at the natural because you were concentrating saturation. on that. Uh, one is not saturation. A <laughs> uh, couple uh, stalkers warped in. We have Colossus Tech on the way and a hell of a lot of Marines heading your way. Mm -hmm. You have an all-in coming from your Terran opponent. Well, it's not really an all-in. He's got all the SCVs trailing. There's three, four. That's all he has left. Okay. <laughs> Medvacs, unfortunately, are at the front of the army, so they're going to take a couple hits from the stalkers first. Zealot morphing in. Thing is, I don't have a lot here. I do get the photon overcharge off, and I do have this DT. Yeah, you do have the DT. Um, Rufus should have some energy for scans, but he's probably using those from the mules now. We have another DT warped in at the natural for Iron Sparks, trying to clean up these Marines. You got to know that DTs do one-shot Marines. You know, I think his mistake right here was focusing my Nexus for a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you gotta you gotta focus on other stuff. Uh, DTs are able to slice and dice the remaining forces for Rufus. Does throw down a scan to try and eliminate this stuff. A little bit of a stutter step right there. Would have liked to have seen that earlier on on the initial attack against you. You know, and he does defeat the two DTs. And you know what's surprising? Um, three Marines with Medvex take out two Stalkers. Well, I mean, the Stalker doesn't attack as fast. No. That's, that's the thing. And right, back up here, I did take out this Nexus, took out a Supply Depot as well. Nexus, Command Center. And uh, we do have uh, three Zelts warping in to try and take on these uh, Marines. Wisely, the Zelts don't pursue because of that. Because that <laughs> happens. Hey, they pulled back. <laughs> they pulled back. But you know what? Um, this guy's going to be on the way soon. Yeah, uh, Colossus has just started for Iron Sparks back at Rufus' base. I believe we have idle DTs. Nope, he is picking off Supply Depots, which is not exactly a priority right now. Well, if you cut their supply... Yeah, twelve fifty nine. Well, you want me to go try to kill a barracks or something? Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, I, don't, I don't know ooh. if he still has SCVs in his main or not. Stim activated allows him to pick away at another zealot. Sorry, guys, I just got into watching mode. <laughs> um. So these were this little pack of marines doing a good good amount of job, and they have three medvacs behind them, so they're able to heal quickly after the stim. And they do take out all my defending forces down at my natural. 
yeah, they are moving in for the pros, but really there is no saturation on Iron Sparks as natural. And uh, they are going to go for the DT Shrine just to make sure those pesky DTs don't show up. But uh, we got we got a Colossus moving down now. Mm -hmm. And it does force Rufus to move to the other side. Now also do have another DT and two Zealots. Yep, DT does get one slice in, I believe, before they run away. They come back to try and attack the warping in Stalkers. Able to knock out the shields on one of them as they warp in. Mm -hmm. But uh, it does look like the units for Iron Sparks is going to be able to clean this up. And he takes the win. Indeed. Should have known. Alright guys, leave a comment down below on how you think Iron Sparks did. Executor. That's a lot of kills. Is it Executor or Executor? Executor. Is it spelled differently than Executor? No, it's just pronunciation. Because huh. that was the title in Starcraft. I know. Executor. Alright guys, again, comment down below. Hit that like button. Subscribe, we greatly appreciate it. Uh, send us in your own replay in at superstarpros at gmail.com. And uh, yeah, hope you guys had a good Tuesday. Good luck, have fun. We'll see you Wednesday. GG.